Hey, hi, hello, and welcome on in bootleggers. How is everybody doing today? It is lovely to see you. Thank you so much for hanging out before the stream starts, and I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the cinematic trailer for Bootleg Sedema. Hello, hello, and happy Whiskey Day! For anyone who did not know, today is International Whiskey Day and we are doing a special little challenge stream uh, today. Um, hello Ed, hey Alien, hey Dusk, hey Nova, hey Charlotte, hey Ellie, welcome on in everyone, hope y'all are doing good. Um, so yeah, today is International Whiskey Day and to celebrate we are doing our first ever challenge run of Bootleg Steamer. Um, the rules of the day are that we can only trade whiskey uh, throughout the, our entire run today. We're still in the demo, so we have two maps. Um, let's uh, get to the main screen. Um, so, yeah, the rules of the day, we can only trade in whiskey. But we are going to have a slight caveat. We are going to be able to pick up any shipwrecks that we find, otherwise it might be a little bit too difficult, seeing as we can only purchase whiskey on the first map. Um, hold on for just one moment, I think OBS is not picking the right screen, because of course it isn't, why would it be? Uh, one moment, team. There we go, okay, I fixed it. It's not it's not a stream if there aren't technical issues while you're live. Um so yes, yeah, it's just OBS legs, it's fine. <laughs> um, have the submarines been fixed yet? Will that be a permanent feature? Unfortunately, I feel they have been fixed. Um We may stumble across some submarines every now and then. Um, but I do believe the devs have done their absolute best <laughs> to get rid of them as best they can, which is very sad for us, but it is, you know, good for the health of the game, I guess, to not have the weird bugs. Um, wouldn't be a professional stream without tech, tech issues, it's very, very true. Um, but yeah, everything is fixed now, all is good. Let's load in. So, with today's challenge, we can only smuggle in whiskey, and we can only buy whiskey on the first map. We can sell whiskey in the second map, so what we are gonna do, we have a slight game plan here, alright? We are gonna get the highest cargo capacity we possibly can, we're gonna buy in as much whiskey from the first map that we possibly can, and take over... Hopefully, the plan <laughs> the plan is to take over a full cargo ship of whiskey to the second map and sell it over in Mississippi. Um, fingers crossed that that works. I, I think that is the best uh, tactical route that we can take here. Hey gnomes, welcome on in. Um, so yeah, that is, uh, that's my plan. Um, and the caveat again being that we can uh, salvage shipwrecks. Uh, just because we get money from them, we can get ship upgrades from them, we may end up getting uh, whiskey from them as well. We may also end up getting uh, alcohols that aren't whiskey. Uh, but that's okay, that feels like a, a reasonable uh, bit of leeway that we can have with the challenge. Uh, we can only purchase whiskey, but if we happen upon other things while we're out and about, then that isn't so bad. Hey Laugh, welcome on in. 
Uh, so, seeing as we need to prioritise our cargo, we are absolutely going. Uh, with Morris Evans as our captain today, as he gives us 20 extra cargo, he makes us move slower, but honestly that's not too bad. Uh, we really, really need the extra cargo space. Um, and here, when we're choosing our ship, absolutely going for the highest cargo capacity yet again. So you have 120. But it's between the Avalon and the Corsica. I, I kind of want to go for the Corsica because it has the two cargo slot upgrades. Um, and that feels like it's going to be very, very necessary. <laughs> um, we um, I think the plan is I will upgrade our ship once. We'll go to tier two on our ship for this challenge. And uh, just so we can, you know, find a ship that has a really nice cargo capacity, but... I also need to, like, get out of the, the muscle memory, because I've been playing this a lot recently, right? Um, if you didn't know, uh, the game is coming out, like, next month. It comes out in April. Um, so a lot of us have been, you know, diving into the new builds and playtesting and, you know, getting a general feel for the game in its, like, nearly finished state. Um, so I have a lot of muscle memory uh, in the game right now where I go into the cities and I buy everything. Um, so <laughs> I need to hope that that doesn't happen. If it does, um, then that's me yet again playing the idiot paying the idiot tax and I will drop the cargo that I accidentally purchased. I won't sell it because that feels um, like cheating <laughs> a little bit and I really I, I want to do our first challenge run, you know, with some... Uh, there's a word there that I can't quite pick up. I want to play by the rules, uh, is what I'm trying to say. Alright. So, for anyone who does not know, this is Bootleg Steamer. I have- I realised we got into the game and I haven't even done the intro to the- Um... And this is Bootleg Steamer! Welcome to the 1920s Prohibition, everybody! We are playing as a bootlegger, and it is our job to smuggle goods, uh, from... Uh, other countries through to America and get huge huge profits and the aim of the game is to make as much money as we possibly can. Uh, we can upgrade our ship, we can hire crewmates, we can... Uh, not in this build, in the new build we'll be able to get pets. Um, there's all sorts, there's all sorts that we've got to consider. Uh, we are only playing the demo today, this is the demo that we took to EGX and to Gamescom Asia. Uh, so in this demo we only have two maps but in a full run of the game uh, you will visit 14 maps, one map for every year of the Prohibition, and your aim is to make it through to the end of uh, 1933, which is when the Prohibition ended, um, with as much money as you can. And I'm sure this is to no surprise of uh, <laughs> anyone here, I've been playing the newer build where we have, you know, the full gameplay loop uh, available. I keep getting busted by the Coast Guard at around year four, <laughs> which is not uh, not great. Uh, I'm working on it, all right. Maybe we need one second to get the new build on stream. Maybe we'll get some more practice in and I'll actually make it to the end of the Prohibition for the first time. That'd be a, a nice little um, milestone for us to hit together. Um, we have got we've got playtesters playing the game and they seem to get to the end of the prohibition just fine. It's just me <laughs> before anyone thinks that the game is like too difficult or something. No, it's just me. Everyone else is getting through it just fine. I just I struggle to outwit the Coast Guard a lot, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, all right, let's get into this challenge. Uh, yeah, is this the ship I want? Yes it is. We have 120 units of cargo, we've got two cargo slots uh, for our upgrades. So all we can do is trade whiskey. I haven't done the pre... pre... Uh, the research uh, for today, like I don't know exactly where all the cities and stuff I need to go to for this challenge are, so we're gonna be uh, learning on the go. Let's try and track down the whiskey team. It's 1920, welcome. Uh, we're not going to do crewmates, we go through this every time. I It's also a habit for me to go and hire crew straight away. Um, but we're not going to do that today, just because they keep being weird in this demo for me. They weren't weird for any of the other devs. Ah, oh, perfect, we found whiskey straight away, guys. So Madison Point, we need to know, we need to keep coming back here. Uh, to pick up whiskey. What will happen, we were able to pick up 30 lots of whiskey here. Uh, we'll let all of that load onto our ship. But then what happens is, as you can see here, 
Um, that is gonna uh, re replenish over time, so we need to leave and come back. We also need to figure out which uh, prohibition seas are gonna want to buy our whiskey. Ooh, this coast guard is fine. Don't worry, he uh, didn't see us. We're also allowed to pick up shipwrecks just in case they give us money, just in case they give us upgrades. That is another coast guard. We can't go through there just yet. He also didn't see us. Everything is good. This prohibition city isn't even gonna buy whiskey, is it? After all that? Nope, it doesn't even sell whiskey. Okay, now we know. Now we know for future. Don't come. Don't come down here. Try and sell stuff in the future. Oh, but you, Lou, thank you so much! I'm glad that you, uh, um, have been following the game. That's super, super cool. I can say. Not- I, know, I might be a little bit biased, you know, as I'm way like, on the, the- the- I work for the studio, but... I genuinely do have so much fun playing this game, and I'm, I'm really glad that you guys are liking the look of it too. Um, if you do exclamation bootleg steamer in chat, it will take you through to a link to the Steam page if you want to throw it on your wish list to make sure you don't miss any uh, big updates or anything. Um, as a little, you know, uh, a little perk for being here on today's stream, I will say, make sure you keep an eye on our socials tomorrow. Okay? That, that's all I'll say, my, my lips are sealed other than that. But keep an eye on things tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go and check this prohibition. Oh, we'll get, get this shipwreck really quickly. We're getting money. You know what? That's good. Uh, that's fine. I'll take I'll take the money right now. We're gonna go check this city, see if they buy whiskey. And they do, okay. So we need to we need to keep coming back to Toledo. Yeah, no one tell the boss. I, didn't, I, just, I said nothing. I said nothing. <laughs> no, that's the perk. The perks of, uh, of being here for the live streams. You know, you get sneaky information that you don't get anywhere else. You want some of that money? What, some of the, the $50 that I found in that shipwreck? Absolutely. Okay, we're, gonna, we're going up to the north. We're going to see if any of these uh, other cities uh, can sell us some whiskey. We're also gonna grab any shipwrecks we see. Hey Thumb Culture, welcome on in. <clears throat> Alright, we've still got 88 days and as I've said before, we do not have the ability to buy whiskey on the next map. Ooh, we got a ship upgrade, nice. Um, a whiskey is not- oh, we can't buy any here. Uh, whiskey is not native to Mississippi, um, and that's the thing that you'll find in this game. We have four uh, different biomes. Uh, we have the Great Lakes, there is Mississippi- ooh, we, that is- right, that's a little bit spicy. That's- if we want to get a good score, we're gonna kind of be relying on- uh, oh, we can sell up bourbon straight away. Uh, we're gonna kind of rely on these shipwrecks to give us the like, extra stuff. Um, yeah, as I was saying, there was, there's four distinct biomes in uh, Blue Lake Steamer. We have the Great Lakes, we have Mississippi, we have New York, and we also have the Caribbean. Um, and each of those different biomes has specific alcohol types that you can only trade uh, in that biome. Um, and there are also some other ones that are a little bit more random. Uh, but there are set alcohol types uh, that you can only find in certain biomes. Uh, and what will happen is at the end of every year, like we're in the Great Lakes uh, for 1920, the year that we're on now, um, and when this year ends, uh, when we get into the full game, uh, when we are moving into 1921, uh, we'll actually be able to choose uh, where we want to go. Um, so you'll have to you know, carefully strategize and choose the route that you want to take, uh, dependent on, you know, the inventory you currently have. Is anything that you have on board your ship able to be traded in the place that you want to go? Um, I believe every time you move to a different biome as well as a little perk, your notoriety goes down as well. So maybe, you know, you're trading really, really well in the Great Lakes, but your notoriety is at five stars and uh, the Coast Guard is kind of relentless. It's probably a wise choice to move to a different biome, so they get off your back a little bit. Arachnus, hello, welcome on in. Thanks. If you're on about the game, uh, we actually, oh my god, sneaky info yet again. We actually have a little blog coming out uh, uh, later this week, actually. I believe it's on Friday. Um, all about the art of the game. So if you want to, 
if you are liking the art of the game, you want to learn a little bit more, I actually sat down and did a little interview with uh, one of our 3D artists um, who was responsible for basically all of the the 3D art that you are seeing. Uh, he did all the boats, he did uh, all the environments, uh, all of the cities and stuff. That was uh, mostly his work. Um, so yeah, we have a little, a little blog coming out uh, talking to him about, you know, uh, how he created it all, how uh, the team decided on the, the art style, uh, all, all sorts of cool stuff like that. Uh, let's keep an eye on our socials for uh, that on Friday. Ooh, Coast Guard. You know, one thing about- oh, don't- I, I just want to see- ooh, there's another one to the south. I just need to see if they can sell- if I can sell whiskey here, my guy. Leave me alone. Oh, I can't anyway. Okay, that's fine. At least now we know get this shipwreck while we're here. I don't- n neither of them saw us, so I think we're pretty- Ooh, we got some gin though. We can go and straight away sell that out there if that coast guard wasn't there. But he's being a, a little bit of a pest. He won't leave. That's okay. Alright, we've only got 50 days left to pick up as much whiskey as we possibly can. All right, let's head back down to this factory city. I believe- yeah, they sold whiskey here and it's fully replenished. Love to see it. What we'll do, we'll buy all of this. We'll go back up north. We'll sell this gin real quick because I do not remember if we can sell gin uh, in Mississippi. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, uh, although Mississippi, it doesn't produce uh, whiskey, it does allow us to sell whiskey. Um, but I'm not sure if it allows us to sell gin. So we're gonna just head up here. Oh no, there's a few of them around here. I reckon we can be super sneaky. We're just gonna like sneak in right here. Hopefully they don't see. <laughs> Hopefully they don't see us. Beautiful. Okay, and now we're not gonna try and sell anything. We're just gonna head straight for the other city that sold whiskey, which I think is the bomb left one. Can you sell it to the Coast Guard base? I, uh, I don't think... I think that feels like a trap. <laughs> I feel like that definitely feels like a trap. If the Coast Guard says, yeah, I heard you got, you know, all that illegal stuff, we'll buy it from you. Don't, don't talk to them. It's a trap. Okay. Oh, these guys were having a terrible issue. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember the cities that sell the whiskey. Oh no. I have, I have memory issues. Why did I think I could just wing this? I also, like, why am I struggling to get uh, down south? Right? Oh no, it's fine. I've absolutely wasted time by going, no! Our ship is so slow, we really should upgrade. We should have upgraded on this map, honestly. Um, we might actually still be able to. Uh, the shipyard, if we're looking at our compass at the bottom here. Whiskey. Beautiful. Okay, we don't, we don't have much time. Let's just get as much as we can. That was fully stocked as well. Yeah, looking at our compass, we've got a shipyard. Is the, the blue ship icon. We'll see if we can swoop in and do a little upgrade. Uh, buy a new ship. Let's see what we got. Hey, Onrio. Welcome on in. How you doing? Ah, uh, Dusk, thank you so much. Appreciate the wish, the wish list and thank you for tuning in. It's been cool to hang out. Hopefully see you soon. Hope you have a good day. Right, we're going for we're going for the mega cargo. So we've got 200 here. I think we always go for the Audacious. It's like my favourite ship from tier 2, uh, from this demo anyways. Um, a cool thing that they have done in the full game is you don't have access to this many ships um, as you boo up the game. You actually need to unlock a lot of them. You don't have many uh, right off the bat, which I thought was very, very cool. Um, yeah, you can, as you're um, salvaging shipwrecks, uh, sometimes you'll find uh, ship blueprints. So it's like uh, whatever that ship was is the one that was wrecked. Um, and as you salvage it, you then unlock the ship that was shipwrecked, which is very, very cool. Um, it's also very all right we're gonna i think we're gonna go for this guy again just he's got the 200 units we right with the amount of whiskey that is actually available on this map we we kind of don't need the cargo upgrades because yeah there just there isn't much 
But that's okay. We're gonna go for this. Um, we did get an upgrade. Which one was it? We could just sell that, to be honest. You know what? Because we're trying to go for a high score, I'm gonna sell these upgrades. Uh, this is not what I would do in the normal game. <laughs> just, just as a heads up. Uh, we're gonna sell and sell and sell. Um, yeah, these upgrades can be very, very powerful uh, in the actual game. Because there's ones like this where it's earn five dollars every day. If you're able to get that early on in your run, that's gonna add up to a huge amount of money by the time that 14 years have passed, you know? Um, so yeah, it's super, super powerful, but for the, the purposes of uh, today's run, we are not. These guys can buy our gin. Uh, we don't have much time. I'm going to take the whiskey over to the next map. Uh, I don't think we have enough time to get to another location, especially when the Coast Guard's getting caught in a whirlpool. Oh my word. Okay. Guys, that could have gone bad. I feel like I should have done a practice run. I won't tell a lie. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm not going to lie. Uh. Right. Shall we? <laughs> we'll move over to the second map. In the second map, there is no whiskey sold. Whiskey is not native to the Mississippi. Uh, so a lot of our money here is going to be reliant on everything we brought over from the past map, which I think we had about 75 uh, lots of whiskey, which isn't too bad. That's not too shabby. Um, but we're going to be very heavily reliant on shipwrecks here. And also... Um, Desperately trying to not get caught by the Coast Guard because they will fine us, uh, we will lose days. Um, and yeah, the big thing is that they're going to take some of our money and we really we really need that money to get the best score we possibly can. So we'll see how it goes. Over to the next season. Welcome to 1921. We're over in Mississippi. I see a shipwreck right here. So let's go grab that first and foremost. Oh, we got some gin. Okay, that's going to be very, very helpful. Another one up here. I'm suddenly very grateful we got uh, we upgraded our cargo. I was kind of thinking it was going to be a little bit of a uh, waste, <laughs> a waste of uh, money to upgrade our ship. But then I'm also now just remembering that uh, our ship, uh, the cost of our ship counts towards our final score. So it's not a waste of money at all. And I'm uh, lying. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, let's head out. This is when we get to this uh, biome, and for the demo purposes, you actually can buy whiskey <laughs> in the Mississippi, which I don't believe is the case in the normal game, but that would be a very pleasant surprise for uh, for us right now. Let's have a little look. I'm a little bit nosy now. No, we got moonshine and rye here. Uh-oh. Can't purchase any of that. We maybe could have like made it so that we can purchase legal goods and whiskey, but that feels. But nah, I've changed. I've immediately changed my mind. Here we go. We can sell all of our whiskey here. So we've got 80, 85 uh, bits of whiskey to sell. Yeah, just ignore the ships. They're just having a. They're having a, a boogie. They're having a dance. <laughs> we'll we'll leave them be. They're having fun. <laughs> Right, where are we heading to? Again, I'm just checking in. No, it's but there is bourbon here though. Bourbon is also on the first map, so I my my hopefulness returns. Maybe there is somewhere to buy whiskey here. We're getting a lot. Of, oh, oh, got caught in a, a slipstream. Let's <laughs> not do that. Um, oh, coast guard. Oh, run. Yeah, he is on me. No, I really want this ship. I want this shipwreck though, dude. Can we get it? Can we get it? Nice, okay. That was a little bit too risky. That was a bit too close for my liking. Um, hello? <laughs> we kind of got stuck in our own net there. That is not, uh, that's not meant to happen. Right, another shipwreck. Then we gotta find somewhere to sell all this stuff. That's nice. $66. Not the most helpful, uh, drop we could have got there. Oh, that Coast Guard. Oh, he is, he's slightly unstuck, but that's okay. Okay, we can sell everything we have on board. He does not see us. We're okay. 
Okay, so we now have nothing. We have no whiskey, we have <laughs> no other drops. We need to hope and pray that these shipwrecks give us something good. And we are actually getting a lot of upgrades. We can go and sell those. Uh, we'll go and sell those at the shipyard uh, near the end of the run. Hey Falcon, how are you? No, no whiskey. Nah, this this is what I thought. Can't can't be buying whiskey here. I thought we were maybe gonna get lucky. As in, I thought my uh, thought my intel was gonna be wrong. Oh, there's a shipwreck over here. You need whiskey? You do! It's International Whiskey Day! Not that I'm encouraging alcohol consumption in any way, no, no. But, ooh, we got some gin. Thanks, game. Um, it is International Whiskey Day. So, uh, happy holidays to, to anyone who's celebrating. I'm still checking all of the, uh, the factory cities, just in case. Just in case there's one random one that's got some whiskey in it. Oh, and we get some bourbon. Okay, we can... we'll immediately go and try and sell these. Uh, we've got 41 bourbon, 31 gin, which is beautiful. Very, very helpful, considering we can't... we literally can't buy anything uh, on this map. Reminds you a bit of Sunless Sea. Uh, that was one of the inspirations for the game. Fun, fun little fact for you guys. Oh, I can't sell either of those things here. Yeah, Sunless Sea was an inspiration for the game. It's cool that that, uh, that comes through. Oof, $79. Not ideal. Not ideal. Could be better. <laughs> Literally anything else could be better, because, like, ooh, the alcohol sells for obviously loads of money, and then also the ship upgrades can also sell for, like, around a thousand. This is- why did I decide to come down here, guys? This was so risky. Uh, it's because there's a little- whoa! Oh, and I can't even buy any of my uh, I can't even sell any of my things here. Uh-oh. Guys, where am I gonna sell this stuff? I feel like I've been everywhere. I definitely haven't. But it feels like I have. <laughs> oh, shipwreck. We've got 38 days. Wine? Uh, honey wine is nice. Isn't that mead? I feel like I should know more about alcohol, uh, seeing as I'm working on a game all about alcohol. Oh, beautiful, we can sell all of the stuff here. Alright, so noted for for the future, the Southern Sea, Southport, this is where we can uh, sell our bourbon, gin, and our whiskey if we come across any more in any shipwrecks. Cross your fingers, we've got another shipwreck here. Oh, that's a dead end. Whoops, we won't be going that way. Oh lordy, it's fine. He's slow. We, if we hadn't upgraded our ship, we might have been in some trouble there, but... We are looking pretty peachy. Alright, now we're just on the hunt for sh more shipwrecks, but I feel like I've been up here already. I feel like we've got them all. Oh no, I can't- I also don't know how many are meant to spawn on every map. I want to say it's around 10? Question mark? Oh, there's another one over here. We hadn't been up here. Because this is a dead end. We've got 13 days. Whatever we- oh, we need to head to the shipyard and sell all of our upgrades very fast. Right, we got money. Okay, we're going straight to the shipyard. We'll sell all the upgrades that we were able to find uh, from shipwrecks. I want to say it's down here. Like tracking the compass, going for the, the little blue ship icon. Hopefully it's just here. Please. <laughs> Please be kind. We've got five days. Don't catch me. Four days. It's right here. Okay. We're good. Uh, upgrades. Okay, let's see what we got. So we can sell one of those. That's an extra $225. Amazing. An extra $1,000 there. Extra $1,000 there. 1,300 there, 1,500 there, and, an, and 3k from those two. Beautiful! Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so- Guys! There is no way that this has happened. There is- Hold the phone! 
We just need to not get caught for one single day. Don't come after me, dude. Don't come after me. Something incredible is about to happen. How? Um, let me hide my face real quick. How on earth did we manage to beat our best ever score <laughs> while doing a challenge run? The best ever score I had up until this point was $29,000. Why? <laughs> I don't know how this has happened. This is a challenge run where we were extremely limited in what we could do. Why do I now get the best score I have ever had in this demo? <laughs> Whiskey is king! Guys, whiskey is our friend! Whiskey is king! The wh it's because it's International Whiskey Day. The whiskey gods, uh, they, they shined their light on us today. And they blessed us with the best score we have ever had. Somehow! <laughs> yeah, clearly we just gotta focus on one thing. What the hell? Um, very good to know. Um, you know what? That run ended kind of quickly. I feel like we can squeeze another one in very, very fast. Okay, someone make note of that score. We're at 32,854. Now that we kind of know what we're doing, we're going to go again, right? We're going to do another one. Got a bonus for having legit bootleggers in chat? Yeah, guys, it's all you. It's all you guys. It's the, the love for the whiskey. We're gonna do the same tactic again because uh, that it felt like it worked out well for us. Actually, yeah, yeah this guy is still, he's the faster one. Because we didn't really use any of our upgrades, I was gonna maybe pick the Avalon because it has the same cargo capacity, but I was like, maybe it's a little bit faster. Uh, it's not. It does have a slightly better um, turn rate. But nah, we're gonna stick with this guy. And what we're gonna do, um, we're still, we're gonna try and upgrade our boat a little bit earlier. Uh, and see if we can, now that we actually have a decent idea of where all the whiskey is on the map, uh, we will see uh, if we can take a little bit more stock over to Mississippi. That's my plan, all right. Holy, that's just, uh, yeah, okay. I had, for a moment, I had the fear, oh, don't get stuck. I had the fear that the, uh, the cities were randomized for a moment there. That would have really thrown a spanner in the works. Right, so avoid in the whirlpool real quick. Um, that city down there is not good for us, so we're going to carry on through. We'll also still be picking up any shipwrecks we see because they are like game changer. And if we could, if any of those shipwrecks uh, that we were coming across had more um, alcohol in them, that score would have been insanely better. Insanely better? My English ain't good. You know what I mean. <laughs> Score to beat thir thir I can't believe 32,000. It's the best score I've ever got during a challenge run. What is happening? Alright, we got more whiskey here. And I want to say the Prohibition City uh, just over here to the left does accept whiskey, so we're gonna ooh, get this shipwreck very quickly. We're gonna go. Uh, there, sell everything that we have. Maybe if we get enough money from that haul, we'll get a new ship straight away. Because we're like right next to the ship. But that's my plan. Must have kicked butt in Mississippi. We absolutely did. Uh, as long as we got we we got our best ever score from this demo. I don't even know how. <laughs> I have literally no idea how we managed that. Is 1,500 enough to buy the, uh, the Corsica? Not the Corsica. Uh, my favourite ship. Let's see, I can't remember. I forget how much things cost. The Auda no, the Audacious is 4,000. Okay, so we're gonna have to do a little bit more smuggling first. Um, oh, Coast Guard caught in the Whirlpool. That's always a little bit scary because the Whirlpool, it, like, throws you out. Um, and as it throws you out, you can kind of like speed off in a random direction. So they sometimes get boosted in your direction and that's very, very scary. Just that good of a bootlegger. I appreciate the faith that you guys uh, have in me. 
<laughs> it's it's misplaced, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Uh, all this time, Leaf is hiding their true potential just to show off during a challenge run. That's exactly it, guys. I've been a, it's been a mass deception. <laughs> That's a lie. It really hasn't. I swear, I try my best every time. <laughs> Right, also, we could just be bouncing between uh, the two cities we've already been to that we know sell whiskey. Uh, we could bounce between them, but the stock takes a lot of time to replenish, so we, it m probably isn't as beneficial to keep uh, bouncing between- Ooh, I thought he was Coast Guard. Um, yeah, it might not actually be a good use of our time to keep bouncing between them, um, just because it takes so long for the, the stock to replenish. It's probably better for us to spend our time doing this. Uh, getting as much as we can from the shipwrecks and then doing another loop round. Oh, see, and we get a load of bourbon. Love to see it. Oh, this place also. Um, uh, let's just buy whiskey. That's beautiful. Alright, so what we'll do now is we'll head straight for the other factory city, pick up the, the whiskey stock there. Uh, oh, that's closer. Oh, we also have some bourbon. We'll quickly sell the bourbon while we're here. Yeah, there's another factory city just south of us uh, that sells the whiskey. Oh, and we got loads of whiskey! Okay, this is good, this is good, this is very, very good. The whiskey gods are truly shining. They're, they're, they're blessing us today, guys. Happy International Whiskey Day. I wish I liked whiskey. I would, I would break out a whiskey uh, to celebrate, but I think it's... I'm so sorry. I'm much more of a, a gin person or a beer person. We'll get this whiskey. We'll also, oh, there is a coast guard headed straight for us. That's not ideal. We'll try and we'll try and lose him <laughs> as best we can. Even if we don't, our ship is so slow. If we had a better ship, this would be much easier. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna keep doing those little laps until we have fully got all of the whiskey. We already have all the whiskey, beautiful. Only one lap needed. If our ship was bare, we'd be able to outrun him so fast. Having a war, it's similar. You know what? That is absolutely fine. Oh god, that's not good. That's not good. There is no pressure in this house. Okay, we're gonna go and sell. We have 122 whiskey on us right now, guys. That's spicy. Um, yeah, we're gonna come in, we're gonna sell all of it. Yeah, the Coast Guards have uh, left us alone now as well. We'll sell all of this, we'll go and get a new ship, and then we'll try and do one last run um, of all of the factory cities that sell whiskey in preparation for going to Mississippi. Our notoriety has gone up much more this time, which makes me I think we're doing better. Um, I think the last time it only got up to like two or three stars. Uh, which, you know, it's an indicator that we're doing well in the sense that we're, you know, we're, we're, sh we're smuggling a lot of alcohol, so the money should be good, but it does also mean there's a lot more Coast Guards about, so we might have a slightly worse time uh, getting around. We might get caught. We didn't get caught in our last run, which probably helped us out a lot uh, with getting a good score. Uh, but we shall see. We're gonna get the audacious again because it's, it's my favorite ship. It's got really decent, uh, really decent cargo, and it's uh, a huge speed upgrade for us. Um. So, at the dock. Very sorry. Uh, do we have upgrades we can sell real quick? Yeah, we're just gonna sell all of them. I was, I was thinking maybe we uh. Maybe we equip them, we maybe could have equipped them and then like took them off of the ship and sold them, but no, nah, we ain't gonna do that. That feels like uh, <laughs> adding complications and I'd end up getting confused and forget. Uh, so, you know, for my own sanity, we're not gonna do that, right? We're gonna do the a loop back around. Oh God, no, 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 no. What happens if we get stuck in that whirlpool, it like, it like it makes you stuck and then when it throws you out you also lose uh, some of the cargo that you had on board and we don't have i thought he hadn't seen us <laughs> i was trying to evade him I, I made it worse um 
yeah, when a, when you get stuck in a whirlpool, you can lose some of the cargo that you have on board. So I really, really don't want that to happen. You can um, go and pick it back up again. At least you can in the, uh, the new the newer builds. I'm not sure if that was uh, implemented in the demo. All right, we're absolutely legging it up to the top city to get more whiskey. Oh, you can see there's so many more coast guards about on this run. Oh my word. Oh, there's a shipwreck right here. Lovely. Get this very, very quickly and then we're heading straight north. Oh, oh my god, guys, 43 whiskey. That's a beautiful drop. Absolutely beautiful. There is a coast guard coming in from the left. Let's, uh. We've got seven days to get all of this. We've got it all. Okay, now we just need to not get caught. Ah, oh, there's a shipwreck at the top. I'm gonna try. We're gonna try and get it. I don't think we actually have. No, he's gonna cut us off. Okay, no, that shipwreck is not meant to be. I, I'm not risking getting caught for what could potentially be fifty dollars. <laughs> it could have been so good. It could have been a really, you know, that probably would have been the best drop on the whole map. But it's not worth the risk. Not worth the risk, guys. <laughs> all right, over to the next season. Let's. How much whiskey do we have on us right now? We have 128! That's fantastic. Uh, so yeah, the job for us in the Mississippi will sell all of that whiskey and try and get every single shipwreck that we can. No, they don't sell whiskey. I mean, buy whiskey either. Oh, I feel like I'm, I've missed a turning. Um, is there a slider in game to adjust how corrupt and bribable the Coast Guards are? I'm afraid not. They are all just mean. They all hate you. No matter what. I believe you can. Actually, I'm fibbing a little bit, actually. Um, the Mafia is now, uh, is gonna be a thing that you can, uh, play with in when the game fully comes out. The Mafia are gonna get involved. And a thing that they can do for you is they can bribe the Coast Guard for you uh, to reduce your notoriety, which will mean there's less Coast Guards around. It won't make the ones that are out any nicer, uh, but it means uh, you can uh, bribe them to be less present. Oh, we got some bur- wait, I think we can sell bourbon uh, right over here. I'm just going to get it sold straight away, seeing as we're like, right here, and then we'll head north. Beautiful. All right. Now we're on the hunt for more shipwrecks. That one over here. Oh, sorry, I think the mission uh, UI was covering it. Yes, what an eagle eye. Beautiful. Yeah, they'll put it into evidence. We know what that means. Damn coast guards. Not in this house. All right. If anyone sees a shipwreck, shout. <laughs> the chance of me seeing it in time is slim. Okay, this one here. I'm praying for good things. $56 is not good things. That's not good things, guys. Oh, he's a little bit stuck. That's okay. We'll leave him be. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, there was one up here last time. I was hoping it was going to be here again. The shipwrecks are random. Uh, there's no- I don't know where the- where they're gonna end up being. Oh, what's gonna be in there? Just shoot one of the big ships and salvage it? Yeah, I can't, what could possibly go wrong? No, you don't see me. You don't see me, dude. Oh, he definitely sees me, but there's a co there's a shipwreck there. Oh, he does not see me as much. He's confused. You know what, that's okay, because so am I. Uh, let's grab this and we'll go through this little, uh, little river. $69? That was not worth nearly dying for. Come on, bless us. Bless us, bless us with the good stuff. Bourbon, I'll take bourbon, okay. Another one here. Yeah, the difficulty with this challenge, we're only allowed to buy whiskey. Oh, what a beautiful drop. And uh, whiskey is not sold on this map. If anyone is wondering why this is a, 
why we're so desperate for shipwrecks right now. Whiskey is not available uh, to purchase uh, in Mississippi. So, um... Oh, this place sells bourbon. I'm gonna just quickly nip in. Uh, it buys bourbon, even. Oh, Scott, he's gonna go down there. When we went down there last time, it was uh, a little bit spicy. <laughs> It's a little bit too uh, close quarters for my liking, especially if there's a couple coast guards down there. Oh, there we go. I've kind of lost track of where we've been already. I usually go, th I usually go around the map in a semi-strategical way. Oh, another whiskey drop, guys! It is truly International Whiskey Day. $54. Okay. Every little helps, you know? Every little helps. I'm grateful. Awesome gin. Wonderful. Uh, they don't want to buy anything we have. Um, there's another shipwreck here. I know that there's um, a prohibition city to the south that um, only buys bourbon, gin, and whiskey, which are, I believe are the only things we're gonna be getting from shipwrecks. So that is where we're gonna head now, I think, as we pick up stuff on the way. And then we need to go to the shipyard and sell any upgrades we've been able to find, which actually doesn't feel like that many this time. And of course there's a coast guard right next to the sea I wanna get into. It's fine, he moved. <laughs> I don't think he saw us. No, he, he's not caught wind of us yet. We're, we are truly rolling in the dough today, guys. Uh, what's the best way to go? Yeah, I think they both kind of know where we are. Okay, we're gonna speed up here, head towards... Oh, we've got the shipyard right here. If we just quickly sell what we have, because I'm not sure if we have any more uh, shipwrecks on the map. Uh, maybe there was, uh, maybe more spawned in last time, uh, but it kind of looked like <laughs> there wasn't many more to discover. Um, so yeah, we can sell uh, the upgrades we've been finding in shipwrecks for a little bit extra money. We've got an extra 600 there, that extra $900 there, 1,300, 1,500, lovely. We're at 23k, 23k is not a bad number at all, but it's not quite enough to beat the last score we got. Um, just a final loop. I think I went up the very top of the map last time, so we'll scour through here. Looking for any shipwrecks. Oh, it's not looking good, guys. I don't think the uh, I don't think the shipwrecks have been quite so uh, nice to us this time round. Definitely not. We've definitely been up there. I remember it. Um. I, th I genuinely think we've covered the whole map. We've got nine days uh, to- <laughs> Oh god, I thought that was a coast guard. We're fine. <laughs> I thought we just ran straight into the coast guard. Not that he actually wouldn't be able to do anything to us right now. We have no illegal goods. Uh, you can see here our capture chance is zero. So even if we ran straight, like, head first into a coast guard right now, because we have no illegal goods, uh, they would not be able to, to punish us. We wouldn't get fined, we wouldn't get prisoned. Uh, so I guess that's nice. Um, and the way the capture chance works is um, depending on what goods you have on board. If you've got like loads of illegal but no like legal goods, there's a much higher chance of getting captured. Um, but if you have a really decent like balance, uh, then you know it makes it harder for them to find your illegal stuff. So it lessens the chance of you getting caught. Guys, we didn't do as good this time. We didn't do as good. We got 28,532, which is actually still around the same as our best ever score prior to today. Which is still kind of insane considering we're doing a challenge run today. I'm still so chuffed that we were able to beat our best ever score. Um, oh yeah, I got over 30k. That was like, that's been a goal of mine for a while. Uh, to get over 30,000. Um, I say it on every stream, uh, but still, there are people in the company who have been able to get some absolutely insane scores in this demo. 
Um, Marius, hello and welcome. Um, yeah, they've been able to get some absolutely insane scores. People have been getting over $60,000 in this demo, and I truly have no idea how they do it. And every single time I say I need to get them to teach me, and every single time I end stream and then forget to ask. <laughs> I know uh, the last stream uh, we did actually get some really good tips. Um, and that is how today I remembered um, I knew to go and sell all of our upgrades. That's something I have been forgetting to do in all of our runs. Um, is at the end you can go and sell them and get a little bit more profit. I don't think that's going to be a viable... That's not a good strategy for when... Um, the main game comes out. That's just a little demo way of getting money, but um, yeah, I think in the main game, I want to say your upgrades count towards your final score, uh, but I will verify that and let y'all know <laughs> for the future. Um, but anyways, guys, that will be it from me today. Happy well. It's not World Whiskey Day. Ha Happy International Whiskey Day! We had an extremely successful whiskey challenge where we were only able to buy whiskey uh, in Bootleg Steamer. We managed to beat our best ever score somehow, which is absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with us today while we explored uh, the wonderful world of Bootleg Steamer yet again. Um, as I mentioned earlier today, uh, please do keep an eye on our socials tomorrow uh, because Something exciting might be going down, what can I say? Um, you didn't hear it from me, just just keep an eye, alright? Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much. If you do it like the look of Bootleg Steamer, uh, do exclamation Bootleg Steamer in the chat, there is a link and it'll take you to the Steam page where you can go and wishlist it, which is super super helpful for us, and it also <coughs> means you don't miss any uh, future updates uh, to the game. And, um, yeah, thank you. Th no, no thanks to me. Thank you to all of you guys. Thank you for hanging out. Um, we'll be back sometime soon for another stream. Um, and until then, I hope y'all look after yourself. Uh, enjoy the rest of International Whiskey Day, and I'll leave you with the uh, cinematic trailer for Bootleg Steamer yet again. Um, have a good one, guys. Thank you again, and we'll see you next time. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Hit it, boys. Find a corner where the big boys play